Hey there, career students. Um, Jaime, once again. Uh, so here I am inside of our animal room. This is where we keep uh, the vast majority of our program animals. Um, various uh, different types of animals from all variety of taxon in here. We've got, we've got mammals, we've got birds, we've got reptiles, amphibians, um, no fish. Uh, and various different invertebrates, such as tarantulas and centipedes and scorpions and uh, all those types of creepy crawlies that we all love. Um, but I'll give you a quick, uh, a quick uh, spin around the animal room so you can see uh, what, where it is that, uh, where we keep the animals that I work with on a regular basis. I'll also give you a look at our kitchen area where we prepare the diets and even a little bit of, uh, of the backyard area where our birds spend a lot of their time. So let's see. So um, here we go. So behind me, you can see some uh, snake enclosures. Uh, right down here is where we keep our sleepy ferret. And uh, you're gonna love this. There's uh, one of the larger animals that we keep here in this department that there is Thor right down there we have a rabbit enclosure <coughs> excuse me so more and more snakes there behind me inside those uh, containers or those uh, those enclosures we've got some small mammals primarily guinea pigs right inside that little nest box we have uh, an opossum there's our chachalaca, more birds, macaws, cockatoos, conures, parakeets, chinchilla, iguana, um, more snakes, uh, probably more species of reptile we use in this department more than any other type of animal. Reptiles are, most of the reptiles here in this department lend themselves very, very well to being put in a travel container and uh, going out to schools. And uh, the main way we achieve that, uh, the level of calm that we need for these animals to be when taking them out to schools is by handling them on a regular basis. It's important that they be used to that. Um, otherwise, they're gonna be more, more prone to, uh, to biting their handler. So right in here, we have, let me go ahead and see if I can flip the camera. Uh, huh, I don't see the button for that. But anyway, this is, our, this is our kitchen area. So this refrigerator is where we keep all of, the, uh, all of the chow, the fresh chow that we give the animals. Up here is the freezer where we'll store stuff a little bit longer just to keep it um, fresher for longer periods of time. There's the, uh, the food, pro food processor we use to dice up all of the diets, the mush, mushy type diets we give to our tortoises. And uh, this is just the processing area over here on this side. We've got some salamanders that have been separated just for observational purposes. And uh, let me prop this door open so I don't get locked out. This is the outdoor area where we let our parrots fly around. We let all our birds out, out here so they can soak up some sun rays, stretch their wings, fly around, hang out in the vegetation. And it's not just the birds, but we also have an alligator uh, back here, a small alligator, that's his pool. And um, we've got some tortoises wandering around back here as well. And uh, tortoises love uh, all this vegetation they get to hide under. We've got some, some dirt pits, some mud pits back there that allow them to dig into the soil. So they definitely love that. And especially with the sun, we even have a little sprinkler system overhead. So we turn it on every day to, uh, mostly to, to give these plants some water, but also to get things nice and muddy for, for some of the animals that hang out back here. Okay, so um, that pretty much covers it for this segment of our video. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in.